Hey, welcome back, Rankers. How you going? I'm not on Facebook anymore. They won't let me back in. Um, I've deleted the mobile apps because I didn't want Facebook on the mobile anymore. And then they locked me out of the desktop. So I've still got my business accounts um, and a few fake ones. But if you're trying to contact me, don't contact me there. Contact me either on Twitter or at jim at stuartmedia.biz. Thank you. I want to talk to you today a little bit more about uh, mystery shopping and, and secret shoppers or mystery shoppers, whatever you like to call it. I know in the UK they call it secret shopper. There's even a TV show about secret shopping, which amazed me in the UK. The, the, the science behind this stuff is so important that there's TV shows about it, right? Uh, to help people increase sales in their business and online. It's just another store, right? And it should be, for a lot of retailers, more profitable than all their bricks and mortar stores because everyone can go to this store. And the other ones, you're geographically limited, right? And the sorts of things that, in last week's video, I mean, it's certainly um, hit a nerve. We had uh, getting close to 1,700 views at the moment. But the, the thing is, no one else is doing this that we can find in a way that makes sense for retailers. So for instance, if you have a look at say a site like uh, what would it be? Vend HQ, I think it is. This is a great um, little bl uh, blog and a post about secret shopping or more about store layout and how you should lay out the store for your shoppers. But the science comes from sec secret shopping, right? So there's a whole blog post and even little things like um, you know, there's some debate about whether you should lead your customers around the store in a clockwise or anti-clockwise fashion. Uh, the ways that the, um, the store is laid out indicates uh, maybe uh, something about the industry that you're in. Fashion will lay out a different way to say what a hardware store would or a supermarket would. So there's all these sorts of different nuances and I guess uh, categories that we're we're using offline, but we're not doing online. And that's what the mystery shopping experience is all about. So, but even things like, I mean, some of these have very, very clear parallels in the online world, like ensure your product quantities are appropriate. You know, so many times we, we're we doing a mystery shop on uh, someone's site and the most popular product is out of stock. It happens, right? But the thing is, is that, all of these things affect sales, it affects your brand, it affects if it happens a lot, is that person gonna come back? What do they think of the experience there? These sorts of things, enough space between products and fixtures. That's your page layout, right? That's making it easy to see the product. So all of this science that's been done offline, hasn't been done online. The Mystery Shopper product, the reason I'm talking about it again this week is because We've had a lot of interest and we're going ahead with it and we're getting about five started. Now these first five, um, we'll be putting a little bit more effort into to f um, flesh out the product. So if you are interested, the first five, uh, they're gonna have a lot more attention uh, because we're building out the product. So I'll be working on those as well as a few others. And the product's really cheap because we can do it really quickly. And the reason we can do it really quickly is it really only takes us the time to do the shop. And then we've got a template of what we know works well on retail. And we just take that template, put it against your site and go Bang, and tell you how much money you should be making. Hopefully that's helpful. If that's something you're interested in, email me, jim at stuartmedia.biz. Thanks very much for everyone for watching. And please share and please subscribe. And if you're watching this on LinkedIn, uh, please share and uh, follow me there as well. And you might be watching this on Facebook. Thanks very much. Bye.